Hey Taurus, I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be your general love reading for mid-March to the end of March 2022. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Taurus. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you might want to check out one of your other signs. Or you can book a personal reading with me. And you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also keep in mind that the rules can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on with you, second half of March? All right, for the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the Four of Pentacles. All right, well, there you are, showing up. Um, <clears throat> I feel like there's something that you're trying to release. Um, something that you might have been holding on to very, very tightly. It's, it's, it's your challenge to be able to release this. And it could be just about anything. We'll see more when we clarify. So for you, we have the Seven of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Okay, so it could be that you're also not um, trusting <clears throat> a particular path. I feel like there is a soul connection here and it's like you're looking at it but then it's like you're also walking away from it or just keeping your back turned to it. We'll see. For them we have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Hermit. Alright, so Virgo energy. This person is undergoing a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Like, not just really not knowing which way this is going to go. I feel like this is somebody who wants to make a move, but um, beings that I feel like you either walked away or you have avoided um, moving forward with this person. So it's like they're not really doing anything either, and they're just keeping to themselves. Let's see the potential. Ooh, out come the tower. Yeah, well, that could actually be a good thing here because it feels like something needs to happen. Something needs to shift here. Some major thing needs to shake things up to get somebody moving here. And I mean, maybe this isn't even a connection that you want, but I do see that there is something here, okay, with the Six of Cups, which is from your past. So let's see. For some of you, it could even be a past life connection, but I'm getting more so that it's somebody from your past here. For some of you, it could be that um, you, you've you walked away from this person in the past, or it's like you're just not very trusting of it, but you, you might be kind of like in the process of turning back around and considering this. I don't know, let's see. What is it that you need to release though? So for the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so we, we are getting a lot of Pentacles here. A lot of Earth energy overall. All right, so... Some really strong foundation here. There's something here that you've been giving a lot of energy to, possibly giving more than what you have been receiving. And it feels like this is this is a situation that energetically at least, it's like done, it's over. Which is not easy. It's not easy for you, but um, I feel like that's what you're having a hard time releasing. I'm not so convinced that it's this person here because there is something here from your past that it appears that you're looking towards. And it doesn't have to be a person. This could even be um, a job. I mean, this is a love reading, but sometimes other factors of our lives can also um, influence or be intertwined with our love, love life. So take it as it resonates, but there's definitely some kind of a strong foundation here, something that seems to have been solid or, you know, supposedly long-term, but it's like it's there's an ending. 
All right, so let's see the Seven of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Whatever it is, I mean, this, this connection here that you walked away from, um, for some of you, it could even be, it could be an air sign, doesn't have to be, but I feel like you did this like very, very sharply, like it was, you made your decision and it was just, that's it, made my decision, done, like cold turkey, turned your back to this. I don't know why, but I just really feel like this is more of a past energy rather than what's happening now. Although for some of you, it could definitely be something that is happening now. Um, it's interesting though, because it, it does feel like there's um, a lot of thinking about this as well. Let's see, let's see the page of pentacles. The queen of pentacles and the magician. Yeah, it's like right now you're you're looking at this, but at the same time you just want to manifest what is going to be good for you. So you're it's like you're just working on your own self, your own sense of self-worth, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. Um But again, it feels like, you know, you're because you're not sure what you can trust. Let me see the Six of Cups. The Four of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so really interesting that we have two sets of um, couples here, right? Like matching couples. We have the King of Swords with the Queen of Swords, and then here we have the Queen of Pentacles, and now we just got the King of Pentacles. So it definitely, um, I don't know, okay, so for some of you, this is, this is a very strong soul connection, okay, that you have with somebody here, and for others of you, it could be that there are two separate connections that are on your mind. And I do feel like there's this disappointment um, concerning the soul connection here, the one from the past. I don't know, interesting. Um, so this could be why you're not trusting it because there's this sense of disappointment and, and just not knowing whether this could actually be long-term, like could it actually be stable? Could it be committed? Um, you know, and you know, do you need to face this 10 of swords first? It feels like there's a lot going on for you at the moment, Taurus. Let's, let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the nine of swords. We have the emperor and the Three of Pentacles. This person is definitely feeling like they want to be in the position um, of being in your life, basically. They want to be the only one in your life. And they're stressed feeling like you might not be feeling the same way. Um, not sure if you know you would be on the same page as them in that. It's also coming in as this person um, also feeling like they may have lost a friend um, when when you turned your back. Like they, they really hold you in a very high regard here, which is why this is so painful for them. Let's see the two of wands, the devil and the two of pentacles. Yeah, um, 
you have a lot going on for you, this person has a lot going on for them as well. This person is feeling very overwhelmed by the fact that they don't, they feel like they cannot do anything about this. Um, it, it even feels like they are, you know, a little bit more obsessed with you than they would want to be. Um, there's this attachment that's hard for them to actually cope with. But they, again, it's like they feel like their hands are tied. Like there's nothing that they can do about this. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe they have something else in their life as well. Like juggling two energies here and, and you know, maybe they're not making a decision. They might have another attachment as well. But I definitely feel like they're also attached to you. Let's see this hermit. The Knight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Well, they're definitely taking some action though. <laughs> um, it's like really moving from that inaction to, to taking some action even if that comes after them spending some time alone. And I feel like this spending some time alone, it's actually very, very good for them because they are detaching from whatever this devil's energy is. Um, they're becoming independent of that. And I'm also picking up on this sense of strength. So it's like, it's a passive kind of an action, but it's an action. But it, it almost feels like maybe you don't even care. <laughs> um, just judging by your energy, like I'm not sure how much you care if they're taking this action or not. Because I feel like, you know, you're also at this um, point where, you know, you don't know what to do either anyway. Even if this person did make a move, it's like you're not really sure if you trust this. All right, let's see the tower. Temperance, the Hermit again, and the Lovers. Three major Arcana cards clarifying a major Arcana card. Talk about a huge event that is coming up here. Um, so, I mean, yeah, the tower, of course, it can be a little bit, you know, scary initially, but the cards that are clarifying it are telling me that it's actually going to be very, very positive. Yes, it might be something unexpected. It might be something um, a little triggering, but it's also ultimately bringing a sense of balance, a deeper sense of understanding, as well as love. All right, and we also have Sagittarius, Virgo again, and Gemini also showing up here. So this tower is going to be different for all of you. Um, it's definitely concerning the connection. I definitely feel like this is a very um, deep connection with this person. And it doesn't matter if you have known them for a long time. It could be that there is a past life, um, that there is karma between the two of you, or just past life, a past life bond that is connecting the two of you. So something is happening here. Um, But it is, it, it is going to require some alone time, all right? Especially for the other person here. It might not be too long though, because I feel like with this tower, like things are just going to kind of, you know, <laughs> just kind of happen. So let's see. So if this resonated, the final message for you is trust. Leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Yeah, and we were talking about trust, right? <laughs> your energy here. So just take this as it resonates. Trust your own self regardless. All right, Taurus, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.